guys, it's your boy Crazy Spartan here. And as always, before I get started off with the video, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been offering on the channel. Uh, hey, y'all keep dropping likes, uh, y'all keep watching the videos, and the content's always going to be here. But regardless of that, in this video right here, we're going to be uh, explaining the uh, score streak system, as well as we're going to be talking about um, more of the equipment and stuff like that in uh, Black Ops Cold War. And uh, we're going to be talking about additional stuff with that as well. So let's go ahead, get into the video, drop a like, subscribe, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So score streaks are back. Uh, and if you guys aren't aware of what score streaks are, basically Black Ops 4. Black Ops 4 has a score streak system where uh, the amount of score that you receive can lead up to your kill streaks or whatever else, your score streaks. And um, you basically complete objectives in the game. You know, you get assists or whatever, uh, and that kind of stuff, right? Score streaks are back in Call of Duty: Black Ops Cold War, but it's not the same as before. A big change with this game is that score streaks do not reset on death. So that means that whenever you die, your score streaks don't reset like they did in the past, right? This is a massive change for Treyarch. Uh, who has not really had this as the default option before. In Black Ops Cold War, score streaks continue and build as you get more and more kills. The more kills you can chain together, though, in a single life, the more score you start to earn. So basically, the more kill streaks you get, or the more kills you get, the more kills you get, uh, you um, get more score streaks, right? So uh, the heads up display will show chain score. And uh, it will signify an increase to score earned when you're getting multiple kills. So the more kills you get, the more score you get, the more streaks you get. That's basically how it is, right? Uh, and you'll earn score for helping your team in objectives and more. So unlike Modern Camp Fair this year, uh, playing the objective is actually going to help your team out. But we know many people will wonder how score streak spamming will work with everyone being able to earn streak, uh, streaks as you get kills progressively in a single game. But to avoid that, Treyarch has added a system in where each score streak has a cooldown time. That varies by each one to prevent spamming of streaks on the map. Now, here's, here's my opinion on that. That's both a good and a bad thing. For one, it's a good thing because... Uh, if you play on a team like I do, where it's me, Cousin John, Alex, Bartolo, uh, you know, Zombie Who Chuckles, all of us boys who play the game, uh, Ke Cousin Kevin, all of us boys who play the game, we're all extremely good. So whenever we play Black Ops 4, we're always constantly spamming streaks, spamming streaks, spamming streaks. Literally, you might see it in this gameplay right here where I'm constantly holding the triangle button, holding the triangle button, trying to get my streaks to uh, pull up, right? But it seems like in this game, uh, you know, each kill streak has a cooldown time. So that's pretty cool. But at the same time, that's a bad thing because, um, you know, once you earn your streaks, you should be able to use them but that's gonna come with time that's gonna come with skill and uh, that's gonna be something you have to work on right so here's Treyarch's official description of what they say about the game uh, in terms of um, you know the score streak system a dynamic and rewarding score streak system means that there's no longer uh, kills lost on diff you'll earn score multipliers for stringing together multiple kills in the same life You'll also earn score for helping your team play the objective, and each score streak goes on a cooldown timer to prevent spamming. So, that basically wraps up uh, the video. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh, but yeah, that basically wraps up the uh, score streak system and how how that's going to work out as well. Um, now we're going to move on into uh, the loadout system with the gunsmith, the wild cards, and more. So, uh, the creative class system looks to combine the Pick 10 system with the Modern Warfare system all into one. Now, if there's a couple of things that Modern Warfare done right, it was the weapons and the gunsmith. The gunsmith was extremely dope this year. The fact that you can change your loadouts mid-match, which I hope that that's something they implement this year. If they don't implement it at day one, like when the game first launches... Hopefully they implemented a couple of months down the road because being able to change your loadout mid-match 
is actually really dope. So kudos to Modern Camp Fair for doing the first, uh, being the first game to do that. Now, it's a different system than what fans have seen before. It tries to take the best of the Pick 10 system, which is absolutely dope because you don't have to use equipment in the Pick 10 system if you don't want to. Uh, and Modern Warfare system, which is where you get to change your class loadouts mid-match and all that other good stuff. And uh, it's extremely cool. And they try and take it and combine it into one system uh, for Black Ops Cold War. Uh, Treyarch is bringing new variation for how the classes can be crafted for the first or for the best way for each player to play. Players have the choice to pick a primary weapon, secondary weapon, one tactical, one lethal, one field upgrade, three perks, and a wild card as the bit, uh, or as the base way to create a class. So essentially, you could have like an AK-47. You can have a Spaz-12 shotgun. Uh. A uh, flashbang, uh, a frag grenade, a field upgrade, three perks, and a wild card uh, as a base way to create a class. But uh, it just depends on what you want to run, right? The gunsmith also returns from Modern Camp Fair. Uh, I'm sorry if I call it that, but that's just that's just what it is. All right. Uh, the gunsmith system allows users to build out how they want attachments to create the weapon for them to use in game. There are seven different attachment slots for each weapon and the attachments have an unlock and upgrade path similar to Modern Warfare, all right? So it comes in levels, right? There's levels to this shit, man. The standard amount of attachments you can pick is five, all right? So uh, that's like your barrel, your optic, you got your, um, your magazine, you got, um, you know, your upper and all that other good stuff, and, uh, it's, it's basically similar to Modern Warfare, right? Uh, we don't get to see the camo selection in action or how players can unlock camos in Black Ops Cold War. Uh, hopefully they do it something similar to, uh, this game right here. Black Ops 4 has the best camos other than Black Ops 2 I've ever seen in my life. Hands down, bar none, the best camos. I know some people don't like the outlandish camos in this game, but let me tell you, they, they, not, nobody is rocking the same camo in the game unless it's dope. Everyone's running around with something different, and, uh, it's absolutely dope. Weapons have their own progression level system similar to Modern Warfare, and leveling up the weapons will unlock more attachments in each category. Uh, and then it goes into the following attachment slots for each weapon. Uh, and I believe there's up to eight of them. So you have the optic, the muzzle, the barrel, uh, the under barrel, the body, the stock, the magazine, and uh, the handle. Alright, so those are your eight options that you can work with on your weapons. Black Ops Cold War also features wild cards that allow players to change up some of the rules. Uh, to create a class to add different system variations that exist. So here are the wild cards that are going to be in the alpha build of the game. Danger Close just allows you to get an extra lethal and tactical and you start out with more ammo. Lawbreaker is where you can equip any weapon in either slot and equip any perk that you want to. Gunfighter allows three additional attachment slots on your weapon and then Perk Greed allows three extra perks all right so as far as the field upgrades go and this is gonna uh, wrap up the video here uh, you basically uh, activate them by pressing the L1 and R1 button or the RB and LB button on Xbox here are the options for your field upgrades so you got the proximity mine which is a throwable mine it's sort of like a bouncing Betty uh, that explodes shortly after an enemy runs or drives over it. It can be avoided by crouching, similar to the Bouncing Betty. Uh, 51 and 15 for this gameplay, uh, and I had Cousin Alex playing with me as well. He went 18 and 11 this game, so shoutouts to Cousin Alex for uh, helping me get some gameplay on this game right here. Um, then you have uh, the recharge time on that is 2 minutes, which is pretty, pretty long. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, the SAM turret, which basically 
is like an anti-aircraft system that you basically sit on the ground. It's like a portable uh, rocket launcher. The recharge time on that is 3 minutes and 45 seconds. I expect some of these times to change uh, depending on uh, what the direction of the game is going to look like. Jammer, it creates an electric disruption field, disabling enemy field upgrades and degrading minimap information. So basically like a jammer back in Black Ops 1. Recharge time on that is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. I see that being a pretty useful piece of equipment. And then you got the field mic, which deploys a recording device that highlights in many in MIDI sounds on your minimap. The charge time for that is uh, 315. So uh, all in all, basically Treyarch is trying to combine the best of Black Ops and Modern Warfare into one conglomeration, into one game, and um, hopefully the, the skill-based matchmaking doesn't make its way back in uh, Black Ops Cold War, man. I do not want to face sweats. Uh, I don't want to be punished for being good. At the same time, I hope the game is fun, alright? So, I appreciate y'all for uh, dropping a like on the video. Uh dropping likes on the videos it really does mean a lot to me and uh we're nearing almost 220 subscribers uh literally the subscriber count has gained almost 10 subscribers this week uh just with the release of 2k21 and uh hopefully we'll have more subscribers coming around uh cold war but regardless of that i hope you guys enjoyed it y'all drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new turn on your post notifications so that way you don't miss a video when i upload and as always, you guys, y'all stay motivated, stay dedicated, always have that mama mentality, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace out.